Uh, welcome viewers, this is that Team Data, and we are back with another video. Um, I just wanted to take the time, and actually I should have said this uh, yesterday, but um, I just wanted to wish you guys um, a happy new year, man. I haven't uh, really uh, put out a lot of videos towards the end of the year. It's a new year, and I like to bring, I like to start to bring the videos back. I hope you guys had a really, really uh, fantastic um, New Year's Eve celebration, and hopefully you had a great time today um, on New Year's Day. Um, I'm going to be coming back with some videos. I, you know what? I actually, um, uh, logged on to Brave Frontier. So, uh, stay tuned for some Brave Frontier content in the near future. Um, I've been putting in a lot of time into, uh, Warcraft, as you know. I've been putting out a lot of, um, uh, Instagram, uh, photos on my progression. And, um, my goal, uh, for World of Warcraft, uh, this expansion pack is to is to get gold capped. So I'm gonna work extremely hard um, to to get my tunes where they need to be, so that I could farm a uh, gold for you guys and give you guys tips on how to make really really um, easy gold, fast gold. Give you all the hot spots, so you guys could actually have a a lot of gold like I have. So um, as you see here, you see a, a, a caption here, uh, 500k gold. I finally reached the um, the 500k um, mark. Actually, I have more than that, uh, but on the alliance on one side of the faction. So uh, right now, I have 500k on the alliance side, and I have another 150k on the horde side. So uh, in total, I have 650k gold. Um, I do plan to get the um, the 150k gold from the horde side to the alliance side. Um, I just haven't found out how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Um, and of course I'm going to lose some gold in the process, but I just want to find out, um, which way that I could do it without losing, uh, that much gold. But I, I am going to do it this way. I could have all my gold because now, as you guys know, the, uh, the auction house is shared between factions. So I don't, I, I no longer have to have, you know, um, my horde tune, you know, purchasing stuff on the horde side and transferring it over. It's all the same auction house, which is pretty cool. Um, so now I'm, I, I'm at 650, which is nice. Um, not including what I have on all of my alts, which I have a lot of alts. And I'll show you, and, and I'll walk you guys through that as well. Um, but I'm extremely happy. Um, yesterday, you know, I, I knew I was going to be busy. You know, I, I went out partying, and so I, I prepped um, the day before. And I'm like, you know, I'm not going to have time to uh, to put up auctions. So I just I, I gathered up all my um, my my alts. And made some some cool items, and I, I I stocked up on bags, and did some farming and collections of all my alts, and put it all together, made bags. I sent it to my my auction house tune, which is this one right here. As you can see, she's she's got no clothes on. Uh, Jada Fire, she's my uh, my auction houser. Um, and so I put up I put up I I'd say close to a hundred auctions um, yesterday yesterday early, and. Um, you know, went through the night, and then throughout the day, last night, I'm checking, 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 and uh, today, you know, I, uh, you know, and I'm checking on my, um, my, my mobile phone. I have the, uh, the app, the, uh, the World of Warcraft app, which allows you to, um, um, do, you know, auctions on your phone, which is cool. So I keep track of my auctions throughout the day and what I'm selling and stuff like that. So, um, today alone, we're gonna see how much I made. Uh, I, I've been keeping. If you guys are, are following me on. Uh, on Instagram, you guys will see or uh, notice that how much that I've uh, I've acquired today. But like, um, I think after a while, my mailbox gets full and um, it doesn't keep track of the gold, you know, that I'm getting or something like that, or the auctions that expire. So I know my my mailbox is full with the message that I got from the app. So we're gonna go in live right now, and I'm gonna show you guys um, how much I made for today. Which I, I'm pretty sure is a pretty sweet number. So let's go in. Let's go in. All right, cool. So um, let me just adjust this. So um, I'm going to hold on one second. I'll just put this up here. Uh, yeah, 500K gold. That's a sweet, sweet number. All right, so my auctioneer. Uh, I, I do apologize for the, uh, yeah, she's got a two-piece on. Cool. Cool story, bro. All right, so, mailbox, bam, 
All right, full. It says I'm full here, and that's probably why I stopped uh, keeping track here. So, um, all right. So, so here's here's my number right here, as you see here. I'm at 502k. Actually, uh, I passed it a little bit here, um, and so this is. I, we're gonna see how much I made just from today alone, because yeah, like I put I put these auction up these auctions up late evening yesterday, and uh, and they've been trickling in all day today up until you know uh, a few hours ago. They're probably still coming in now too, but um, let's see how much this number jumps up to. It's at 502k right now, and uh, and you guys can see exactly what I'm selling it and what I'm selling it at in comparison to your server. Uh, as you see here, you know, uh, Savage Blood is a is, is, is a is a hot commodity. But I will tell you, uh, I don't know if you guys are reading up on the forums and stuff. They I, I, And I still can't believe it. I, I think uh, the hackers have found a way to dupe items. And it, it's a sad situation. Uh, hopefully Blizzard will fix it. Because I remember uh, duping was huge um, in Diablo 2 with the Stone of Jordans. So I, I'm hoping that it gets resolved because... Um, it's going to really, really uh, ruin the game, the economy, and everything else. So I hope they fix that. But, yeah, uh, Savage Blood is big. Um, I actually have some here. Normally, normally, I've, I've been checking. I, when I check my auction hop, my, my, my auctions, you know, I, I definitely would put some Savage, Savage Bloods out there. Um, but I'm saving up because I'm going to make um, something with one of my professions um, in hopes to uh, possibly double the value of uh, my Savage Bloods. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And hopefully if it does work, and I'll give you guys the tip on what to do and how to do it. So, uh, right now, as you see here, I, I made a ton of uh, a ton of Ember Silk bags. I, you know, I had some uh, Ember Silk cloth uh, for, for some time now, just saving it up. And I, I put it all together and I, um, with some hyp hypnotic dust, and I just I, I just made a whole bunch of bags. I, I mean, yesterday yesterday uh, my my nickname was Bagman because I made so many bags. So um, let, let's get to it. So here's 300 gold for Ember Silk bags, which I think is probably the going rate on most servers. I I put up some really small stuff like the Sinister Squashling. I, I didn't you know I've, I I got a ton of these, um, and I didn't think they would be selling in there. It's, uh, ten gold is ten gold, guys. Uh, Frostweed bag, I made a ton, a gazillion of these. Um, I, I'm selling them at 150 gold. I don't know what they're selling for on your server, but 150 is pretty sweet. So, some more Frostweed, as you can see. I, I, I have a lot of Frostweed bags. Um, here, Ember Silk bags, I, I got 296 out of these because uh, as, as I'm checking my auctions throughout the day, I'm relisting. Like, I have so many of, you know, of items and stuff. So, like, and and if you're not on top of your auction game, the, the competition is fierce. Everyone is, is always constantly undercutting. So, you have to check your auctions, you know, several times a day. Take, you know, if you have the app, it takes you a few minutes. You check your auctions. You put some more out there. You know, if you have to cancel, then re-put out there. You know it's worth it because it, it'll take that one minute for somebody to check and if you're the lowest uh the lowest price they'll buy it so as you see here the first auction uh ember still back that i had was 300 gold now this one is that i got i made you know four what four gold uh, less so um 296 there 296 um illusionary bags are still key and i'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on that bag no one seems to be making them hey man they're, they're pulling in um, 2300 gold and they're not that hard to get or to make and I'll give you the tip that I'm using uh, to make those bags every what is it every seven days you could possibly or every 14 7 to 14 days you can make a you know some bags um, so at least bags I have that 2300 um, I did make some uh, some 640 gear here's my hex weave bracers and what I did was is I threw out all my alts I kind of like mixed it up with different parts. I made some bracers, I made some chest pieces, I made some shoulders, um, because you know you don't you don't just want to make all shoulders and all bracers. So I mixed it up, and so this one sold for eight gold for eight thousand gold. Um, some people are I seen a lot of competition out there. People are you know saying hey you know six forty pieces, uh, any six forty piece for ten k, and I've seen the prices dropping drastically. So I, I just put it at eight k just to avoid um, anyone undercutting. And thank God um, it didn't get undercut, you know. Um, I think a lot of people, too, are not listing their 640 items because um, it takes gold to list it, you know. And if, it, if it's not selling with all of the competition, a lot of people, um, the people who are really, really hungry for the gold, they'll post on, on the trade chat, 
you know, and then they'll get people that way. So the people in the auction house, you know, they kind of lose out because the person in the trade chat is, is, is spamming that stuff. And, you know, and they're, and they're at a cheaper price in the auction house, so they're, no, they're normally going to win. So I put mine up for 8K gold. I sold it. Well, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, enchants. Mark of the... What is this one? Mark of the Bleeding Hollow. This takes uh, 15 uh, temporal crystals. Um, I think I once sold these for about 15K. The prices are dropping. I, you know, you gotta you gotta go with the competition in your in your on your server, and I got 8k 8k for that. These cards are the dark are the dark moon cards, um, and they're they're random. They're selling you know at various prices. You're you know you're you got to check your auction house to see. But I normally go in under undercut the competition by a copper or a gold, and I made 300 gold with that. I sold a glyph for 10 gold. Not too much about that. Ember silk bag. These puppies right here are awesome. Uh, Slurian uh, pigment. You get these from um, from milling your, the herbs. The herbs are like a dime a dozen. If you have an herb garden in your garrison, which I have several of them, I'm getting herbs like crazy. You mill the herbs, and this is what you get. These things are going for, I sold 10 of them for 86 gold, which is nice. So they're selling on the auction house, and I, I have tons of gold. The only problem is you gotta spend some time milling it, but it's good, quick gold. Quick, quick gold. So as you see here, I sold a bunch of those at 86 gold. I sold some more frost weed bags, some more of those things we just talked about at a different price. As you see here, I had to lower the price by 10 gold to sell some more. And, and these are probably, a, yeah, at half the price, not half the price, but um, I'm only selling five here. But still selling them, and I have tons of them. Uh, Ember silk bag, I had to sell it for less than 300. It was 300, now I'm at 289. So, as you see here, I, I did have to go into my auction house and to kind of undercut the competition to, to sell it, you know. Uh, for me, everything was pretty much 100% profit. I did not um, buy any of the mats from the auction house. So, I could go low, you know, I could go low and keep undercutting until the person stops undercutting me, and then I'll sell my bags. Um, I sold these, uh, these are a pre-expansion um, level 87 um, epic pants. I'm also selling the Sorceress Earth are pretty hot. Um, if you could sell them, if you're not making any um, any um, items from your profession, these are great to sell in the auction house. As you see here, I sold five of them for 300 gold. Um, there's another pair of pants, the uh, epic pants. Some more fire, some more bags. You see, I sold at 305. 286, another 640 piece. This one is the uh, tailoring tailoring headpiece. I sold it for 8K. More ember silk bags, more ember silk bags, bags. Earth, another um, 640 piece for 8K, which sold. This is the um, the transmog gear that I did in a, in a previous. Uh, I got to show you this gold, uh, gold farming spot that I was at. Pretty nice. I thought it would go for more, but on my server, there's not uh, too many transmoggers out there. So it went for 400 gold. Uh, some more stuff here. Royal Sachet I sold here um, for 3K. And these are still good to get if you're doing your dailies uh, pre-expansion. Um, with the wind wool stuff, you can make these. You can make a bag every, I think it's 12 days. You could get 3K, which is pretty nice. So I'm on top of that game as well. Uh, Frostweed bags. Some more Frostweed bags. Uh, I forget what this is. This is a, probably a trinket. Uh forget what that is a soul blade some more trans box stuff a glyph and i'm selling my temporal crystals also individually if i have some extra ones laying around uh, they're almost close to 400 gold a piece so i sold a whole bunch of those things there and another royal statue at 2k and then as you see here guys i still have tons of um of um, ember silk bags. I'm gonna just move this over real quick. Ember silk bags, as you see here, I still have a lot, which I'm gonna I'm gonna keep replenishing. And there's some more frost weave. There's like loads of frost weave bags there. Amazing. So I'm gonna come back to that and sell that as well. So um, I did get a couple of expired auctions here. These are these are pre uh, pre expansion stuff. They're hard to get rid of. I'm really sad that I didn't sell them uh, prior to the expansion coming out. But okay, let's look at our total, guys. We had 502 starting off, and we, we are at 
50k we earned today 50k 50 oh look somebody just purchased another enchant and it's one of my big ones here as you see here on the bottom of your uh, bottom of your left hand screen the mark of the Thunderlord someone just purchased it and that is going to be another 8k let's go check out the price real quick and I, I'm really excited because I am I, I'm moving uh, really really um, at a rapid pace on getting this uh, this this gold cap, which I'm going to be really excited about. So, uh, yeah, I, here here's the um, somebody just purchased it right here, and it is um, 8,200 gold. So as you see here, I got a bunch of stuff still out there sitting out there. I am selling a, a mount, a sky gold amount for 24k. Maybe that'll sell soon. And a bunch of other stuff here, some some stuff here. Um, I could tell you, I had about a hundred auctions yesterday, um, and I'm down to less than probably twenty. Uh, so, a busy day, busy day yesterday. I didn't think it was going to be too busy because of New Year's Eve. I thought people would be out and partying, but instead, you know, I I, I did sell a lot of stuff. So I'm excited. I'm at 552. Actually, add on the eight, I'm at 560k. On the alliance side, total at another 150k to that. So um, I'm excited, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. I'm going to be putting out more videos uh, in the future. Uh, stay t stay tuned for some uh, Brave Frontier content. Um, until next time, guys. Take care. Peace.